Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today Scorpio, this is a weekly collective reading for you. Let us see what's happening towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio family. Let us see what is the message for you guys, okay? This is applicable. Um, okay, I'm seeing the Two of Cups, okay? This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship. And apart from looking into love message, we will also look into career, finance, and general situationship, okay? So this is a weekly collective reading for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. We will look at the past, the present and the immediate future predictive outcome and advice and depending on the message for today i will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading what can i get for scorpio please in love career finance and general situation please what can i get for scorpio you've got the ten of swords you've got the queen of cups that's you scorpio you've got the moon card okay you have the Eight of Swords. You have the Two of Wands. You have the Tower card. You always have the Tower card, Scorpio. <laughs> You've got the Tower card. Let's see. You've got the Judgment card. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Okay, let's stick it together. And you have the Magician card. And you've got the Nine of Cups. Okay. Let's get your overall energy, Scorpio. Okay. You have the full card. And this card wanted to come out. Let's take that. Okay. Okay. So your overall energy is you've got... I saw the full card. So there is a new beginning. And you've got the nine of wands wow this is stepping in and stepping out <laughs> like um the full card uh the full card scorpio it's about a new beginning this is a new journey and the thing about the full card is that he is embarking a journey a travel um he's going to start something and he has no travel plan you know he knows that he would like to travel he would like to begin but he doesn't know where to go so it, it's like the it's like the, the card it's like it's 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 like the name itself fool you know but it's a very light-hearted energy Scorpio where it seems to be you're ready to step outside of your comfort zone you're ready to begin there's something that clicks in the next two weeks between between now and the next two weeks Scorpio you are ready to step out to be more proactive I feel like you're finding your feet you know because you still have the nine of wands in here you know because you're coming from possibly nine of wands you are still a little bit guarded but part of you is wanting to explore I would say this is a very I would say it's a very cautious way of starting all over again. I would say, Scorpio, that you would like to try um, and explore. Uh, but there's also a part of you that pulls you back to, like, you know, you would like to take a risk. But this Nine of Wands, it also pulls you back to being grounded, you know. Because um, the, the, the full card is also, the full card is also a card of taking a risk you know with the nine of wands in here it is reminding you scorpio if you would like to start all over again to try things to explore to you know um take a leap of faith or take a risk a little bit of risk um make sure that it's grounded make sure that you've learned from the past so it i would say there is a very open mind open heart um, energy in here Scorpio uh, but 
with caution like you have this your energy because the ones represents our passion and our interest and our energy towards a new beginning so with you there's a little bit of i would say the way you would take a risk it's very um calculated you know there's a room for error but only two percent something like that like if you're gonna make a mistake you know you want to make sure that it's not the damage control is not really you know huge so there's a part of you that i want to do it but also there's a part of you that reminds yourself when to stop you know but either way this is a good one you know in the next two weeks you are very playful very fun but also very very mysterious that you look like you want to have fun but then you're at when you, when you're actually there you you're very disciplined okay so for example okay i want to party yeah you know go everyone looks at you like a wild card and that you wanted to party but then you know you go home at cinderella time 11 30 or 12 a.m so it means you know your limit in here you party but you also go home disciplined so there's something about you uh, taking a risk taking a new beginning but baby step okay i like your vibe scorpio you've learned you know you've learned the hard way for some of us for some of you scorpio and so you're not giving it all you carry with you maturity in terms of you know a new beginning taking a risk exploring you are learning you carry with you the learnings that you have in the past okay now let's pick up more intuitive message for you scorpio you have the ten of swords in the recent past or in the past um you dealt you've dealt with one of the worst month or week or i would say the worst part of this year it's it's done ten of swords there was a cycle that is about to complete a closure of, of one of the worst, you know, Ten of Swords. You know, it was, yeah, Ten of Swords. So the worst is over. There is a cycle and it's completing. And I'm seeing in here the darkness, the shady, it's going to lift up. And as a result, as a result of the, the Ten of Swords, you have the Queen of Cups, which is this is you. Okay. Um, they're so much confident with the Queen of Cups, you know, after the Ten of Swords, you are a Queen of Cups. It means it's possible that you're ready to love again. You're ready to fall in love. You're ready to try like the full card. Um, at the back of the Queen of Cups is a very blue, I don't know, ocean, um, very calm. Um, I would say there's no more hate. <laughs> This, you, you don't wear any stinger scorpio you have left the stinger in here like a scorpio could hate because i'm scorpio but i'm not not all of us are like this, but you, you could really you know be so angry and upset and hate but when you're done you're done you know and this is what i'm getting in here is that ten of swords i'm done with you i'm ready queen of cups to fall in love or to be you're ready there's something in here that you are opening yourself to the world you know you're sitting here with your cup at the back of you the sorrows the tears the disappointment it's all gone in front of you is the ladies mantle that is the name of the you know the herb or the um the plant so I would say your effort of moving on of healing um it's now you're built to last scorpio there's some sort of learnings that you have accumulated from this bad cycle and at the end of the day you're still the same person and you're built to last whatever challenges you had with the ten of swords you're built to last um the worst part of this year it's over and you're still you the queen of cups and you're very very resilient and you still hold your precious cup because you know that your cup your heart deserves a chance i mean looking at you the queen of cups you know this is your life and you deserve 
the second chance to love again, the second chance to try again with work, with business, with career, you you owe that to yourself. You're the Queen of Cups. With the Moon card in here, Scorpio, I really feel like before you go out there and be ambitious and drive towards a new hobby, uh, maybe try a new career or maybe try to date or give love to your friends or family, there's, there's a very strong vibe in here that Queen of Cups, I would like to fall in love again with myself. I would like to fall, fall in love again with my life, Queen of Cups. This is very powerful reading because you're realizing that, um, you know, one of the strength, one of the very Scorpio trait you have is you don't depend with anybody. You depend on your Queen of Cups, on your heart and the intuition that your heart tells you you know so queen of cups very very good reading it's very feminine but a fighter like you're i'm built to last you know i have battle scars i have disappointment but i'm still me i'm still the scorpio who's so in love to live who's so in love to life who's wanting to fall in love again who's wanting to have a career who's wanting to share whatever you know cup i have in here so very very good scorpio yeah there's a sense of maturity and i'm really really you know i'm hearing the word you should like you're eternally grateful for yourself for being for reaching this part of your life you know i don't know something something so like you're so thankful about what you have right now, what you don't have that was taken from you. Maybe it's not meant to be, you know, but what's important is you sit here, you're the queen of cups and you're ready. Um, with the moon card in here, um, you know, you're ready to take on the next battle. This is you. Look at you, Scorpio. You're looking at this lizard, you know, it's like a David and Goliath, you know, you're not scared. When you reach the point of Queen of Cups, like I've been, you know, like I've experienced the worst. Whatever you throw me, whatever you throw at the Queen of Cups, I am going to survive. You know, you're, you're, you, you, you become who the person you want to be. And whatever you have, whoever you have in life right now, they're meant to be with you this time, this moment. So right now, this is a moment you and I are meant to connect with this video so this is going to be part of your day and this day will never be the same it will never be repeated so there's some sort of i don't know realization that um that life is worth living with or without the people in here you know with or without this person with or without this hobby life is still worth living with the queen of cups in here let's look at the let's look at the moon card scorpio it looks like a challenge so after regaining your control, your strength, your balance, Scorpio, yeah, like what I said, strength card. You could be dealing with, uh, ooh, wow, you could be dealing with, Le with a Leo, but oh my God, seven of pentacles now. Okay, so the moon card, you're looking for a new challenge. Oh my God, it is scary. <laughs> you know, when it's a feeling Scorpio where okay I'm getting stronger emotionally you're very strong now and then you've got seven of pentacles you've got time you've got you've got resources let's put it that way seven of pentacles you've got resources resources can be time it could be money you know um, you got you have resources that will allow you to break free from the norms or to create a new challenge that will you know ascend you to your next level so it could be you're looking for the next challenge scorpio something that will keep you busy seven of pentacles the strength card it is quite scary because <laughs> they should avoid you because you're a scorpio look at that the tower card you're at the you're at a tipping point scorpio you're at a point where you feel great emotionally stability they should avoid you because you're just you know the strength card this is like a you know um chi this is a chile or no um what do you call this um 
hot pepper like cay cayenne pepper right you know it you know that this, this this thing in here i forgot the term in english but you know this is hot and spicy right so you're at the point scorpio where you're into a challenge you're at the best um emotional and mental and you've got this passion within you that okay i want an next challenge get out of my way so yeah they should be they should get out of your way because you're willing to push everything that is blocking you every everyone else who's wanting to prevent you from doing what you want they better stay out of your way because you are uh you have the you have the strength you have the resources and you have the emotional stability you're reborn scorpio so what else is coming towards you in the next in the next two weeks is eight of swords let's look at this eight of swords okay the death card oh it could be a scorpio okay eight of swords death card you could be dealing with a scorpio ten of pentacles and you've got in here the page of wands yeah so for some of you guys you could be getting a message from a scorpio a capricorn taurus virgo the thing with this is that eight of swords like this person is missing in action you know it's a reading where you're all pumped up to start all over again you know it's a feeling queen of cups the moon card the seven of pentacles the strength card you're just so pumped up and excited that you know you want to start all over again you know and then this past person now can give whatever you want for them to give you yeah it's so funny it's so it's so funny it's like a test you know <laughs> this is so funny look so eight of swords you don't think of this person anymore or maybe offer maybe a situation but you don't think of them like for me you're dead now you look at this person's situation you're dead gotta go i'm amazing you know so you're dead gotta go and then they message you and they tell you scorpio we would like to offer you whatever we cannot offer you in the past i would like to offer you the ten of pentacles you know ten of pentacles this is about stability this is practically I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is money. The Ten of Pentacles stability. The Ten of Pentacles is something that you can really count the resources. So someone is going to reach out, call you, text you. It's a good news. But you have already moved on with this person. Or it's a feeling where, wow, you are taking a right turn. Now this person or this offer is following you and the thing is you're so ready to create a new life a new thing you know you're curating your life without this personal situation you kind of move on and then they offer you now the ten of pentacles in the past you want this you know they're part of the ten of swords you move on and then there is like eight of swords death card no longer you're not you you're you, like this person is even say, this person is even saying to you, I mean, this is the two of wands. This is happening very soon, Scorpio. That's probably why you have a tower card in here. Because I really feel like whoever this person is, you have made up your mind. You have made up your mind that this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to offer. This is where you're going to go. They're not part of where you're going to go, you know? And then Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, they're kind of telling you this is what I, what I wanted to offer you. And they want to happen it soon. It could be, for example, you started already a job and this, per this personal situation is coming to you. Hey, Scorpio, uh, I know that we have, you know, we have touch base and you wanted this, we couldn't give this. But hey, Two of Wands, the Tower card, we can now give it to you. There was a change of mind, a change of heart, and we can now give it to you. You know, and you're like... But you know, I have already configured my mind, my heart, my life to be without you, without this. And that's part of it that I have accepted that you will not be there. Or I have accepted that you're without, you're my without. Because, you know, something you're planning. Like it's a feeling like the full card, you know, you, that's probably why you have the full card in here in the Nine of Wands. Because you have changed completely. 
after this experience you, you you become a different person that when you look at this it's amazing it's flattering it's a compliment but do i need you now that is where i don't think so with a hidden energy judgment card six of pentacles you kind of feel like i don't have time for you you know i'm gonna look at you again review again there's some sort of rework connected with this person or situation you know if you're going to reacquaint reconsider that's a lot of work but you know there's something in here that i have i have already i have programmed my mind my heart and my life to do this and now you come back and you offer me a perfect 10 of course you would be tempted to look at it but when you look at it if i get this if i consider this i'd have to redo it which takes some work you know judgment card six of pentacles you're thinking you're considering it but you're also looking into how much work you would need to do when you accept that okay so there is an offer it's a it's a deal breaker scorpio i would say because it's a 10 and they will tell you and they're acting very fast whoever this person is you know it's a deal breaker they're acting very fast and they they can give it to you you know magician card i feel like scorpio because of this you know because of your um newfound love for life love for yourself you know how peaceful you are right now how let's get it on scorpio technically you can magician card you have everything you have in your power and your best interest you you can you can you can accept it i mean with the magician card in here it looks like if if you accept this person or offer a situation reacquaint reconcile reconnect it again you can because you're smart you have the resources you can do it you know I mean there's there's no limit with you but do you want to go there you know nine of cups you're sitting here you know you're sitting here at the back of you is the nine of cups will i'm am i willing to do it all over again you can i mean what i'm trying to say scorpio is that you have the skills you have the time you have the strength to go all throughout this okay but the thing is will you do it where in fact you're heading towards something clean slate something blank you know it's more of if you do this there's a baggage i mean with your knowledge with your strength you can take care of the baggage you know but are you willing to go to step down like this is a step down this is this is not an upgrade this is a downgrade okay you have already stepped up so you're kind of thinking it's a feeling of i have already moved on if I accept that, I would have to reopen the baggage. You know, it's depending on how much you love or you like or how much interested you are with a person or a situation. But this is a, I would say it's a rework. Let's see. Let's see the advice for you. Okay. Wow. This is interesting. High Priestess and you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of reflection that you need to do. So each one, each one of you, Scorpio, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to your inner voice. You have to really weigh the pros, the pros and cons of whatever it is that you are going to reacquaint, reconnect, reconcile. Because the fact that the high priestess came, you know, came out, it means that this is really, I would say, a very big decision to make the person the situation will be waiting for you so you gotta make up your mind this is happening very soon they're acting very fast it's happening very soon and it's a freaking ten of pentacles it could be an offer of money an offer of jobs something ten ten perfect ten so listen to your inner voice scorpio okay 
Maybe you're up for, for a challenge and this is the challenge. But I really feel like you would love to have a new challenge. Not like you kind of configure yourself to be, you know, better to have a new one. This is old. But you're very, very much fit, you know, like you're very fit to accept this, accept this. If in case you step back and, you know, accept this, you're still fit, perfectly fit to handle this. It wouldn't be given to you if you won't be able to handle it. So you've got a choice. High Priestess, listen to that inner voice, Scorpio. It will guide you. Um, yeah, look at that. They will be waiting for you. They're sitting on the pentacles and holding it. And look at that. They're, they've been thinking and thinking and thinking of your reply and respond. So thank you, Scorpio. This is your reading. I will see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.